I rock on my bad self cause it's a must. It's the Lady of Rage still kicking up dust. Welcome to episode 5 million and 3 of Canonical Chronicle. Let's get into it. I rock good with my bad self cause it's a must. It's the Lady of Rage still kicking up dust. In shocking news, Google have just been fined $1.7 billion again. Fool me once. Shame on... Shame on you. <laughs> you fool me, we can't get fooled again. Yes, Google got fined by the EU for abusive practices in online advertising. Abusive practices? What, like scraping webmasters' content, taking it without permission, and building their entire business based off other people's sweat. And then after that, using their monopoly power and unlimited money to put those people whose content they've taken out of business. That kind of abuse. I mean, come on, it's not like we abuse Google search as users. So all of this news is in relation to the AdSense publisher contracts. The EC released a statement saying, Today the Commission has fined Google 1.49 billion for legal misuse of its dominant market position in the market for brokering of online search adverts. Google has cemented its dominance in online search adverts and shielded itself from competitive pressure by imposing anti-competitive contractual restrictions on third-party websites. Great, so well maybe now the rest of the competition can have a little slice of that pie. A race? He's a race! I hope I win. But in all seriousness, this brings the total fines to nine billion dollars. Logic being that hopefully this puts pressure on the US officials to take some actions against Google in the future. Google has now released an update to Google Search Console that increases the number of actions that it can now support. <laughs> These new actions include opening the sitemap content in a new tab, deleting a sitemap, reviewing granular details for sitemaps with errors, and presenting RSS and Atom feeds in sitemaps. This is an effort for Google to migrate the old features from the defunct search console onto the new one. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new iPhone. Damn, another one? Uh, what are the new features? It doesn't matter. It's a new iPhone. Where's the line? You're right. It's very true. This is really significant because it gives SEOs a lot more control over their XML sitemap files directly in the new search console. Bing has started incorporating LinkedIn data into their search ads for the very first time. In my opinion, it was about time that they synchronize and we need to synergize. This now means that advertisers will be able to target users based on the type of content that they interact with on Bing. This together with the LinkedIn user targeting actually brings something, for the first time ever, useful to Bing in terms of their ad targeting. We've been hearing a lot about this Google neural matching thing, but each time I hear it, I can't help but think. Greetings, colleagues. On offer, factual text or fictionalized text. First or third person. Usual literacy range from primal to postdoctoral. Usual span of styles from fairy tale to religious. Who's who or where's where? So Google has finally revealed how this magical neural matching thing actually works. The search liaison Twitter account said this. Neural matching is an AI-based system Google began using in 2018 primarily to understand how words are related to concepts. They further went on to say, it's like a super synonym system. Synonyms are words that are closely related to other words. I mean, if you spend all day shuffling words around, you can make anything sound bad, Morty. So the difference between that and RankBrain is that RankBrain helps Google to better relate to pages and concepts while well, neural matching helps Google better relate words to searches. In other news, Amazon is starting to roll out video advertising on its smartphone apps. It looks like Amazon has been building out its ad portfolio over the last couple of years, and it's now the third largest platform in the USA behind Google and Facebook for digital advertising. And here's the thing, when it comes to product searches, more people tend to start their search on, you guessed it, Amazon. Look around the room and see whose name is on the wall. I'll run this sh These high intense search queries make video on this platform an incredibly desirable tool. 
I just wish that Typey Media didn't sell services, we were in products so we could take advantage of this amazing new ad format. Remember Rel equals Next and Rel equals Prev? Yeah, it helped signify pages that were part of a paginated series. Well, turns out Google stopped supporting this years ago and didn't bother to tell anyone. Yeah, you judge, I can do what I want, bitch. But hey, they've come out and issued a public apology. Yes, that's right, you heard me correctly. A public apology. A Google spokesperson told Search Engine Land, we apologize for any confusion. This was an oversight and something that we should have communicated proactively before taking down the documentation. An oversight? A an oversight? <laughs> an oversight? <laughs> Are you serious? So I guess that's just another one that goes in the same bucket as adding authorship markup to the site, defunct, using Google+, defunct. I mean, it's getting really hard for us to build the brand image of the SEO industry with this level of flip-flopping from the main source of truth, Google themselves. Google announced that its AMP and mobile-friendly test tools both now support the ability to edit code and rerun the test live. So this new feature is gonna allow developers to really quickly test and change a snippet of code inside the testing tool to see if the result is positive or negative. So no more sleepless nights, hoping that the changes in code cause your client to have a complete meltdown. This is a really welcomed addition because it further bridges the gap between SEOs and developers and it makes everyone's lives considerably easier. That's everything for this episode of the Canonical Chronicle. Thank you very much to Tim Stewart, our absolute veteran supporter for another excellent rap lyric. Please comment down below if you want a particular lyric for next week. Please follow us on social and until next time, we'll see you later.